What's going on, y'all, up here at Hobby Town in Kennesaw, Georgia? I got these guys over here. He's trying to walk away. I got you anyway. Ha, 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 ha. So what we got here is the Traxxas Max. You guys know this is the car they just released. It's the hot new release from Traxxas, and a lot of people are talking about this. So they do have a demo model, so if you guys can, come up here, um, see what's going on, ask if you can just take a look at this. Of course, it's not a drivable car. It's just a demo for people to take a look at. But anyway, a um, couple of things with this car. They have the box up here. You guys know that it does come in three different colors. There is the speed chart there for that. So you guys can see that there in case you haven't been to their site to hit the 60 plus miles per hour. You do need an optional gearing with that. So out the box on 3S 40 plus and then on 4S 55 plus as well. Um, and then, of course, it just has different other information about clipless body and stuff on there, self-riding and about the 4S power system and stuff. So give me just a minute. We're going to take a look at this truck real quick. All right, guys. So here we go with the meat of this. This truck does look good. Um, it really, really does. And I'll do a size comparison. I have my Stampede 4x4 and my X-Max up here as well. But just looking at this truck off the bat, it does look really, really good. They did a good job on the body and everything. of it. When I get one, I'll do it more up close and personal with it. But you do on the first order get a light kit with it. You get a light kit in the front and also in the rear. And we take the body off. We'll show you. But that can be activated also through um, the Traxxas app as well with that. So real quick with these tires, these tires feel good. They feel beefy. You guys see the inside of the inside of this wheel right here. Looks like there's a seal, but this is probably a standard. Um, what is that? 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter something is 14 to unscrew that off. And then it's a plastic. These are 17 millimeter uh, wheels, too. Just so you guys know, this is a 17 millimeter hub on here. So looking real quick inside, I'm just going to go over some quick details. And then uh, Brandon is going to get into a couple other things with this. You guys know it comes with the new via. Uh, VXL 4S system. So this is capable of 3 and 4S. We don't know the exact amperage on it. It's probably uh, 120, 30 amps. and also comes with the new Traxxas 540 XL motor. Um, that's 2400 kV. And that's the light kit right there that you're going to get if you get the first round of these that come out with it. So and then, of course, real quick, the gear ratio is a 50 spur and a 24 uh, two finger and it is mod one. And then to do adjustments, they do have it where it's like A, B, C, D in here. And you just actually unscrew that and move that to do some of the adjustments on there. So a couple of things Brand is going to talk about real quick. All right. You got the nice adjustable shocks, you know, for when you're out in the field and need to adjust, you know, how, how much stiffer or uh, softer you want them. They've got, you know, a bigger, beefier servo in here. A little over 200 ounces of torque off this guy. Nice, you know, addition to something 10 scale to have some decent, um, uh, decent steering power. And like JT said, you know, you get the nice little piece for the light kit. If you do not have the Bluetooth module, you can set all your settings through the click of a button here. Cool. But it okay. just makes it easier with the Bluetooth module. But you can do it all through here. And this just, you know, wires back into here and everything. So it's all ran off your receiver. So you don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. Um, it's got the Kush style slipper setup inside here like the X-Max and the E-Revo 2.0 have. So that's another Nice feature with it, you know, and then you got the nice battery tray that's adjustable to fit the different height batteries in here. So you can put something a little bit bigger in here. Okay. That's pretty much it. That's pretty, yeah. So this is, this is looking good, guys. I take a close look at the center of gravity here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pull uh, my X-Max and my uh, Stampede 4x4 and we're going to do a quick size comparisons with these. All right, guys. So just to show you a quick side by side comparisons between these three, you guys see the size difference. Of course, this is going to be this is going to be smaller than the X-Max. But a lot of guys wanted to know, how does it compare in size to the Stampede 4x4? So you guys see there, the Stampede 4x4 is stock out the box, except for the light kit that I've added to it. But you see that the new Max is a little bit bigger than that. Um, I would say, we'll get these side by side real quick. All right. So there we have it there. You guys see that there. Ignore my dusty uh, Stampede. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys see it is a little bit wider. Um, it's a little bit higher too, but you guys see that it is a lot bigger and beefier than the Stampede 4x4 right there. Stock tires, of course, are going to be a lot bigger and stuff. I don't think Traxxas is going to get rid of the Stampede. Um, they'll probably revise that too at some point as well. So that just shows you a quick size comparison. For like I said, when I get one of these in a couple of weeks or a month when they come out, I'll do a little bit more in-depth comparisons and then we're going to show it next to the X-Max. 
So you guys saw in the Traxxas video kind of the size for this. So, yeah, it is bigger. I mean, it is still 10 scale in size, though, because it's not too much bigger than the Stampede, but it's not like super big either. It's not Emacs big, more or less. Because the Emacs, and you guys fret me if I'm wrong on this, but the Emacs is a little bit bigger than this. Um, from what I can remember, the size of the Emacs. So the Emacs, was a little bit yeah. Size. So this is kind of in between the Stampede. And the Emacs. Yeah. It's got that kind of mid-size yeah. between the two. Because this Emacs was kind of 8-ish, 9-ish scale. And this is 10 scale, but it's larger. It's like a short course would be a 10 scale, but it's not the short course size. But we'll, like I said, we'll get into that it's a little bit more. Short course, but it's, it's yeah, but it's not as big. So it's not like you put a slash. Not like I took a slash and put monster tires and wheels on it. So mm -hmm. um, anyway, guys, I'm not going to get too in-depth, but I did want to show this to you guys. Uh, like I said, you can come up to Hobbytown, Kennesaw. In Georgia <laughs> and take a look at this and uh, get a close-up look at this so as always guys don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching